Cisco Secure Cloud Insights, Use Case 1, Integration and Cyber Asset Visibility. So what is Secure Cloud Insights? Well, it provides comprehensive cyber asset visibility and relationship mapping across multi-cloud environments. It is cloud-native solution that pulls data with multiple types and sources to associate them and build the relationships, this is key, that every security analyst requires when assessing an environment or investigating an attack surface. Secure Cloud Insights analyzes the data types and cross-references them to provide an easy-to-use cloud security management uh, platform and provide security dashboarding as well. Cyber asset discovery and management across multiple or hybrid cloud environments is a key challenge for any enterprise that is moving or is already established in the cloud. With Secure Cloud Insights, you can easily find assets, discover their status, and query their attributes. In this video, we're going to take a look at the integrations and asset dashboards. Cloud Insight is a data platform. The more data, the more powerful. And check out the integrations here, right? There's tons of integrations that you can add to the platform and ingest that data. It's read only, so any integrations is read only. There's no agents to deploy or manage. It's API based integrations. It's automated ingesting of data and discovery. So the goal here is to have complete up-to-date data asset inventory and then obviously understands the roles and the relationships. If we drill into AWS configuration, you can see very quickly here that you've got account name, description, you can set the polling interval, you've got a role ARN and external ID and you're almost done. We've got some additional options here around tagging and role chaining and organizational accounts. On the right side, we talk about setup instructions. Now we've got added automated cloud formation stack creation. You've got manual creation via management console or AWS management console in this case. And then you get into the CLI and the um, Terraform um, integration. And the goal here is assets are much more than devices, hosts, routers, and firewalls as we thought of them before, right? They're ephemeral they, in, in a DevOps world. They come up, they come down, they disappear, they're added, you scale in, scale out, etc. And items such as access roles, control policies, agents, images, and all the ones that we see here are resources. This also aligns with NIST 800-207 and Zero Trust, where defining all things as resources. This helps us identify potential attack vectors. So we've got 129,493 total assets. You can see them all here, code repo, backup, change, configuration. We're gonna jump into data stores, which has 3,561 elements. This is a data source um, that is from multiple cloud environments. So you can see here we've got AWS, we've got um, we've got uh, what else we got? We got Google, um, all different elements within AWS, and we can zoom in our, our search here. So we can look at specifically AWS S3 buckets. We can see 221 of them. And when we do that, we can take a look at one of the buckets and we can see what is set on the, the bucket itself, right? So the display name, class, type, that's all good stuff, but let's look at the actual details of it. And we've got properties, tags, metadata, raw data. We've got the URL, the bucket name, the size, the classification. Is it public or not? Can I delete uh, based on MFA, yes or no? Is it, uh, what region is it in? Am I using TLS? transport is uh, versioning enabled. So the whole thing here is understanding who owns the bucket, what data center does it belong to, is it encrypted, is logging enabled, etc. Imagine having the ability to quickly understand how you are positioned from a security perspective across cloud or multiple cloud environments, understanding the relationships between all of these resources. Well, that's what Cisco Secure Cloud Insights provides. Thank you.